having you. Um, it's Tuesday. Or is it Wednesday? No, I think it's Tuesday today. Second uh, of August. And I've got a visitor here. He don't want to be on camera, but he's here. And he's come to see me today, and he's bought me a little bit of summit. So just to start off a new video, I thought I'd show you this. As you know, we went down Adam Boyer's the weekend and uh, did a bit of shopping, if you like. Um, and I've done a bit of shopping with him as well since. And I'll spin you around and I'll show you what's, uh, what's here. So here we have a Shintaro shower. You know I'm a sucker for showers, everybody does. When I bought it on the WhatsApp group, everybody said, I hope Dave's after the shower again. Uh, around about 37 cm, I'm being told by Mr. Barker, uh, which is the gent I've had it off. So, and it's grown nice as well. We had these off Rob Walker uh, a while ago, as you know, I've got a Shintaro Sankey as well. Um, but me, I'm a shower fan, not a Sankey fan. Tony's a Sankey fan, not a shower fan. So, <laughs> one of them. But yeah, 37 cm, Shintaro shower. Not sure on the sex, if I'm honest. A bit too early to tell. If even if I spin it over, you probably won't tell yet. It's a nice fish in general, and uh, just want to thank Tony for it. Uh, cracking price as well. I'm going to cut himself again. He's listening to me as well. I shouldn't really be saying things like that because he'll be wanting more. But yeah, happy days. That's going in the sleeper pond with the other retrobites. Not a lot's going on on the pond. I will show you actually. I'll do another one once I've sort of Tony's been and gone, and I'll uh, I'll show you what sort of state I'm in with it. As you can see. Not very much, or I'll explain a bit when I see you. Everything's all right in that one there. Everything's all right and for sale in that black tub down there. So if anybody's after any fish before the end of season starts kicking up on us, come and have a look. There's plenty of choice in there for you to have a look at. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get this shower in the pond, and I'll uh, I'll snap back to you in a bit. Catch you later. I mean, yeah. It's Thursday the third. Uh, moved on from yesterday when I got the uh, got the fish off my mate Tony. Um, as I said, I've been feeling a bit shit lately, but uh, I I've been alright today, to be fair. So I thought I'd come up and have a go. Um, just been putting the sockets in. There's still two got to go up this end. I ain't got enough though, I've got to order them. At, at the minute, I've got 10 sockets. Why 10 sockets? Because I can. Um, they're all wired in, ready to go. I ain't wired them to the fuse board yet. The fuse board, as you can see, He's up here. Um, so I'll spin you around and I'll show you. So there's the fuse board there. Just a small little two-way switch and a breaker. Obviously this is the main cable, six mil. And this is the cable for the sockets. It's no good creating a ring because they've spurred at source anyway. Um, uh, sorry, fused at source. And of course I'm gonna be fused in here as well. I'll then come out the top, up across the beam and into, into here for the light. Uh, the lights can all be wired in properly then and uh, hopefully we can uh, get stuff moving. So yeah I've had a couple of hours putting these in. I forgot how time consuming it was to put all them in. I've been at it since about five-ish. Uh, I think it's about seven, half seven now so I'm just wired in all ready to go. Um, as I said I've still got some bricks to put up on the top just to close the gaps in. Before I do that I've got some little bits and pieces to do like get the wires Get the lights all wired in, uh, smack an hole through that beam. The lights will pretty much stay as they am. Um, my camera skills, sorry, I do apologise. But the lights will pretty much stay as they am. Because uh, it lights it up pretty well. And, and yeah. So it's Thursday the 3rd of August and that's where I am. Decided I'd do a bit today. Never really helps. I've just got to get out and, and get the bricks laid around the pond. Hopefully that'll be the weekend and I can get them done. If the bricks go down nice, or if the weather's okay and lets me, allows me to do the bricks, then I might call on the lads and see if we can get the filters in here, and at least I can start looking at, uh, at what to get done then. But uh, that's where I am. Um, just a quick update. Um, I've got to try and keep these videos a bit shorter. My missus says I do them too long, and too long videos. So put your comments down below if you think I should shorten them up. I personally, I think I should. But there you go. Right then, guys. Catch you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Having you. Sunday the 6th of August. Uh, I've been on the trail all day long, believe it or not. Um, I'll show you what I've done on the main pond in a minute, but what I've done in here, you'll probably see behind me. 
I'll put a pillar up, just a strengthening pillar for that bit of wall, because the door's going to be hanging on that bit of wall. So I thought, well, you know what? Well, I've used some of, I don't know if you've ever seen it before, this stuff. It's basically a railing, what you bolt, you bolt it to the wall. And then you've got little things what sit in there. Sorry, forgive me, I'll tell you what, I'll turn your bloody right, shall I? Useless I am with these cameras. Yeah, so as I was saying, this stuff just basically bolts to the wall, stainless steel tracking. Um, and what you've got, you've got little hooks, what sort of hook into there, and they give you, they stick out around about four inches, and they give you a toy. So it ties one wall to another. Now I use these when we did our conservatory, and, and it's never moved. So happy days. It's, uh, I'm going to put another column up there. Here's the little things what go in. Then the things what go into there. So they just they just sit in, sort of sit on the rail, sit on the joint, and it, it creates your toy. So what I did with that, I put one down the middle here, straight down there, and I put the little bits I've got left on that wall, so it ties all that corner in together. So yeah. Has anybody seen our summer? Because our summer just don't seem to be existing. It's absolutely pelted it down two or three times today. I'm in a right mess of compo everywhere because me and the mixer had a bit of a dispute. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll take it out here. So, honestly, it looks a mess, but I've finished that wall off around there. Now, as I said, it looks a mess at the minute, but it's. Uh, they're all for the better for a renderer. So a renderer will come in, get that done. And then, as we go into the pond, I might lose a bit of light here because it's, it's rather dark. Forgive me. Oh, I can't move so agile as what I did this morning. Right then, so, top course is on. All the inner skin and the outer skin except for that corner that corner there needs a couple of bricks i've run out of bricks basically i've just got that one left um this is the fine light now i'm six foot i'm six foot that, that's roughly my height and i'm standing in the middle still got the depth of the drain so i'm six foot six foot two six foot four again I'm in a position really now, other than getting that one, I've got to put another course of bricks in there and get the skimmer set back in, but I'm in a position, in all fairness, where I could possibly get the Celotex boards on. They're all sitting out there, look, up against that pond there. So, I'm waiting to go on. So, yeah, I'm in a position where I could possibly get the Celotex boards on. Um, Come on, three chins. That's why I have a share, it covers them up. Look. So, once the Celotex boards are on, I'm thinking of, of drilling, plugging, and nailing instead of sticking. Um, just once the five glasses in, it's a shifting anyway. With a, a plug and a nail, it's taking it to nowhere anyway. So, that's what I'm thinking of fixing. Obviously, I've got my returns then to cut out. Um, I'm as deep as I was before, almost. Very far off. But it's looking all right. It's looking all right. Um, I've had to cut the posts off again. The main posts where I had the pergola up just to get another brick under. Uh, that corner has been an absolute nightmare to be fair because the water just seems to drip down in that corner. The frogs was full. Um, so obviously bang when you bang the cement on you get all the all the frogs and it all dribbles down but you know what give me a couple hours let it start to cure and it'll be all right um so yeah the window's pretty much i've got to put some bricks across the bottom of the window as well now i've gone up i think i've got to put another row across that bottom wall here i think there's a row where i go across there i ain't measured up yet but it's a it ain't no drama because uh once I've put that row in, all them slabs from outside, all the crappy slabs here, what you can see across here, they've all got to come up anyway. And what I'm going to do, I've, already, I've always had a step just there, let's see if you can see the step. I've always had a step there. I'm going to try and get that right down to that, that level. 
so it's been all one level a lot of digging out again but you know what well, it's my last time I'm ever going to rebuild this pond I think it's had three goos now two, three goos, two I can't remember so yeah that's for the skimmer football in the bottom drain they'll belong to me but that's another story and just needs a good clean out now I've been kicking all the snacks off well, I've been leaving alone today, um, obviously with the uh, with the compound stuff off the bricks, kicking the snots off. There's my skimmer, look, just sitting up there on the blocks. So it's got to come back down here and get set in properly this time. Then I can start piping up. The uh, filter house, again. Oh, let me just sit down and I'll talk to you. Knackered. The filter house, again, has got water on the bottom, so... It looks as though my next job is going to be digging all the way round the filter house and tanking it up, tanking slurry. Me and uh, me and Rob Walker was having a talk about it yesterday. I've never used the stuff, so I'll be honest, I have no idea about it. But it seems to think that uh, if we tank it up all round the outside, it should stop the water seeping through. Um, it's mainly coming from the raised bed, which is just behind this wall. And um, what's happening is obviously the tarpaulin and everything, the way it's been situated has just been, the water's been running down on the tarpaulin, basically filling that bed full of water. Um, and it's, it's seeping through into me, into me block work the other side. You can see parts of it here, where it's, it's wet here. So it's really doing me no favours whatsoever, so I'm going to have to tank everything up. Just something I never really accounted for, it's another curveball, that's all, you know. If it takes two years to get this finished, it takes two years though. I always said I've got to have fishing it by September. It's my birthday is September, I wanted fishing it for then. Um, also, I'm going on all day in September. But uh, if it do happen, it do happen. I'll just well feed the fish on a couple of weeks before I go. Uh, and they should be alright anyway. So, that's, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, what I'll do, I'll put this out tonight now because uh, it's a fair old bit of footage and again like I've already said my missus says I've just my videos and too long but yeah thanks to all the new subscribers as well there is a few I have so I've noticed um, also everybody who stuck with me along this journey thank you very much here's my return here's my return that's one of them got straight through there look into the filter um, so yeah thanks to all the subscribers old and new and uh, thanks for all the lovely comments as well where everybody keeps uh, keeps on this journey's taking a long time I'm conscious of it but it is what it is it's a big build it is for me I'm bloody old getting old catch you later in a bit of